I'm Morgan. And I'm Hope. Hey Hope, this is our first time on Heron TV. I know, and I'm so excited to be here. And there's no better way to start off an episode other than the weather. Really, Morgan? The weather? You don't want to talk about Donut Day? Oh, that's right. We'll get to it. But first, let's check the skies. sad lately. Fall is certainly here and you know what that means. That's right Herons, the Jogathon is this Thursday. It's gonna be great to get outside during science class and run for the school. I can't wait to see what costumes everyone will be wearing. You'll earn an extra raffle ticket for running and costume but please remember no masks are allowed. What's up Herons, Mr. Oliver here and I want to thank you guys for bringing in your pledges for our first two turn in days. We had a great cupcake day. Hopefully you guys had a chance to enjoy those cupcakes. We had a great cookie day too, and our first two turn-in days were pretty spectacular. But there's more. We've got one final turn-in day, and that's right, it's Donut Day. So bring in $40 on pledges on next Tuesday, and you'll earn yourself a donut. So the big day is Thursday, though. That's our jogathon, and you're going to earn an extra raffle ticket for running in costume. Just remember, no masks. But you're going to earn a raffle ticket for every lap you run in addition to every $5 in pledges that you bring in. At the end of next week, we're going to have a drawing for all those different prize baskets that you guys have been putting your tickets in for. So good luck. I can't wait to tell you guys who wins it all, and I can't wait to see how much money our school raises. So I'll see you at the Jogathon, Herons. Hey Ho, did you get your pledges in yet? No, but I'll be sure to bring in my pledges next Tuesday in the 15th. I'm all about donut day. That's right. I'll make sure to bring in $40 to enjoy our final sugary reward. Just thinking about Donut Day is making me hungry. Speaking of eating, let's turn things over to Mrs. Fortuna to give us some lunchtime reminders. Happy Tuesday, Happy Valley Middle School. As you know, we have a lot of kids at this school. We have about over 1,200 kids, and each lunch has about 400 students per lunch. Things are going really well, but I think that we can do better. We need all three lunches to work together to ensure a clean and safe environment for all of our students and staff. We're looking for you to follow these lunchtime expectations. Stay seated. Stay seated at your table. Clean and clear your table and the floor. Your table should be clean, should be wiped down. There shouldn't be anything left and you should look under the table and make sure you pick up anything that you've dropped. Make sure then you're gonna raise your hand and we're gonna bring over a rock so that you can either go to the library or go outside. If you're staying in the cafeteria, make sure that you are staying at your table as well. Other things to remember, don't throw your lunchbox. Keep the stage clear. Pick up your lunchbox at, and binders when your lunch is over. So nothing should be in the nest by the end of the third lunch. If you can meet these expectations, you have the opportunity to earn an extra activity time at the end of the day. Each day you can earn points during each lunch. So you'll earn either one point, two points, or three points. One point means the lunchroom's very messy. Two, almost clean. Three, perfectly clean. That means you have the possibility of earning nine points a day or 45 points each week. So all the lunches need to be working together to attain your goal. Once you reach 70 points, you have earned your reward. So let's take, let's take care of the cafeteria and follow those expectations and you will have free time in no time. Clean up after yourselves, Herons! Hi. Hi, Mrs. Gaudio. Hi, how are you guys doing? Shouldn't you be in class already? Didn't I see you outside today? Yeah, I was just outside saying hi to students as they come in. But aren't you busy too? Well, sure, I'm busy, but I try to think about how I can make work better for others. In fact, I'm thinking about how I can exercise my character muscles this year. Oh yeah, are we going to start exercising our character again with character dares? Yeah, every student can practice building character this year by trying some of the character dares. In fact, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade will be exercising different positive character traits. There's even a place to write your dares down in your planner so you don't forget. Hmm, I wonder what 
character trait I'm going to practice this week? Maybe I can guess when I see you in the halls. All right, guys, it's time to go. Bye, Bye Mrs. Dario. You know, Hope, it's really remarkable how, how so many strong-willed individuals have overcome their disabilities and accomplished great things. It sure is. Make sure to stop by the bulletin board outside the main office to see the display celebrating some amazing people that have left their mark on the world. Let's continue to celebrate Disability Awareness Month with the quote of the week. Hello, Herons. This is your quote of the week. What I learned was that these athletes were not disabled. They were super abled. The Olympics is where heroes are made. The Paralympics is where heroes come. Joey Raymond. Hey Morgan, is it true that you made the hair and call out logo that we see on every episode? I sure did. I made it in media arts class. Cool. Let's take a look at it now as we do a hair and call out drawing. See Mrs. Damon in the main office to claim your prize. I hear hair and call-out prizes are no joke this year. They are giving away some pretty snazzy prizes. Hey Morgan, what do you say we hear a pretty snazzy joke? Excellent idea. <laughs> we just made popcorn and science in the kitchen. Oh, oh really? That sounds so cool. I've always wanted to be in science in the kitchen. Yeah, it was weird because we used popcorn salt instead of butter. Oh, that's interesting. Speaking of butter, did you hear the rumor going around about butter? No. What is it? What is it? Never mind. I shouldn't spread it. Oh. Hey! <laughs> so what else do we need to get to? We still need to get to the random fact of the episode. Well, what are we waiting for? Hey, parents. Did you know that there's 293 ways to make change for a dollar? That's pretty random. And... That's your random fact of the episode. That is really random. I'm just impressed that someone figured out there are so many ways to make change for a dollar. That must have taken a while. Kind of like how long we have been taking to host this show. We should probably wrap things up. It's been fu fun hosting with you, Morgan. The pleasure has been mine. I'm Morgan. And I'm Hope. Yeah.